Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will solve the following problem. When a and b are non-zero constants, solve the equation 1 over a plus b plus x equals 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over x. This is very simple. First, let us write the right-hand side using a common denominator a, b, x. Then for the numerator, we have first b, x, then plus ax, then plus ab. Here, let's write the numerator as a plus bx plus ab. Now we multiply abx times a plus b plus x in order to remove the fractions. Then we have on the left hand side, we simply have abx. Then on the right hand side, we have a plus bx plus ab times a plus b plus x. Here, let us expand the right hand side. So first, this times this gives a plus b x squared. And this times this gives a plus b squared x. And this times this gives a b x. And this times this gives a b a plus b. So notice that a b x cancel out. So we have a plus b x squared plus a plus b squared x plus a b a plus b equals zero. So we have a common factor a plus b. So we have a plus b times x squared plus a plus b x plus a b equals zero. And this part right here, we can use this famous factorization formula. It is just an expansion of x plus a times x plus b. So we have a plus b times x plus a times x plus b equals zero. So we have a plus b equals zero or x plus a equals zero or x plus b equals zero. And here's the important part. If a plus b equals 0, then the equation becomes 0 times x plus a times x plus b equals 0. So these x plus a and x plus b can be whatever values, meaning that x can be any number. Well, x can be any number except 0, because x equals 0 will make the denominator of the original equation 0. You can also check this from the original equation. When a plus b equals 0, thus b equals minus a, then the equation becomes a minus a plus x equals 1 over a plus 1 over minus a plus 1 over x. So you can see that x can be any number except 0. For the other case, when a plus b is non-zero, then either x plus a equals zero or x plus b equals zero. So we have roots x equals minus a and minus b. To summarize, if a plus b equals zero, then x can be any number except zero. And if a plus b is non-zero, then the roots are minus a and minus b. And this case dividing is something that is often overlooked in the other videos dealing with this problem. Of course, in most test problems, a and b are given values that do not make a plus b equal zero. But from a purely mathematical perspective, outside of any external context such as math tests, there are infinitely many cases where a plus b equal zero, just as there are infinitely many cases where a plus b is non-zero. So you should clearly mention both cases. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.